Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Baby Kush, my crocodile monitor, is certainly looking good. And speaking of looking good, we are going to kill you with cuteness today. Uh, that's right, so just get ready. Push your problems aside. It's about to get really cute. We're going to start with brushing my albino alligator salt. And I'm like, yeah, Brian, I want to try to take a picture with Pepper. Like, what should we do? And literally, he's standing in there with his bread and his toast making Vegemite. And I'm like, should I pull out Pepper? And he's like, eating Vegemite. He's just like, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Just do it. I'm like, are you going to help me? And he's like, no, it's fine. Is that my toothbrush? Yes, I took it from the house. We're, we're about to clean salt. Hey. I was looking for that. I've never done this before. What? I've never done this before. Okay, so that, that's a good way to start. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take out Salty. Uh, you know, in her old enclosure, she used to get algae a lot on her. We'd have to toothbrush her probably once a week or so. Now, it's hardly ever. This is the first time. It's been probably almost a year she's been in this yeah. environment, and uh, she's just got a little algae. Believe it or not, she used to love it. It was almost enriching for us to actually toothbrush, but we're going to have Jay do it because he's experienced. I've never done this before. What? I've never done this before. So we're just going to get Salt out. We're just get her over here we'll just kind of just make her look even prettier than she already is <laughs> toothbrush you can see just a little bit of darkness right here where it just needs to get cleaned up just a little bit again nothing like it used to be where it used to get super algae all over but look at she seems to love it And I'm serious, it seems like she actually enjoys this. I think that just the kind of feeling on all of those little receptors are kind of firing off and she seems to love it. I mean, look at her, she's not kicking around at all. She's not trying to get away. She's like, this is awesome. It's almost like a little alligator massage. So Jay, is this offered in the virtual tour that you do? Uh, definitely. Okay, definitely. so if you guys want virtual tours with Jay, just a uh, link in the description and you can watch him. Uh, Rub you down with a toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, pick, you pick the animal and he'll toothbrush it. <laughs> I'll brush it for you. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere you want. Oh, okay. oh, oh okay. that's for that's for the after hours. That's, that's the only fans page <laughs> with Kevin McCurry. <McCrow>. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I always hate asking this because I feel like I'm begging, but we are getting close to three million subscribers. So. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, can you please hit that subscription? Uh, it would be really cool. Turn your post notifications on while you're at it. Uh, we're close. We're like 73,000 away from 3 million. It's going to be a celebration, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Like I mentioned, we're killing you with cuteness today, and there is certainly nothing more cute than a western hognose snake. I tell you what, I seriously think it's probably the cutest face on any snake. You know, I love ball pythons because they have that kind of little duck thing going on and all that stuff, but there is some something about that little pug nose of a hog nose that just melts my heart. And I think so many people feel the same way when they come into the Reptarium and they actually get to hold Peppa, they go, oh my God, she is so cute. So a uh, hog nose snake definitely win the category of cuteness when it comes to snakes, at least in my opinion. So we actually just updated Snoop Frog's home. The only problem is, is that we updated it, it looks so cool, I don't see a frog in here. Where did Snoop Frog go? Ah, oh, there he is. There he is, Snoop Frogger here. <laughs> of course, Snoop Frog is the ornate Argentine horn frog. This guy is so funny. But that's one of the problems when you start getting really kind of cool with cages. is uh, It gives him more places to hide. But the truth is, he's going to be happier this way, which is cool. But that is definitely a cute little face. Maybe a cute face that only a mother could love. But uh, hey, listen, I'm like his mother, right? The little mother hen of a reptarium. So uh, I love it. I think he's absolutely cute. So adorable. Of course, we have a few horn frogs. We have this one here. We also have have some albinos and some other ones. I, I love them. And of course, we've got Al, the cane toad, as well as Chunky Monkey, the African bullfrog. So frogs are super cute, aren't they? And there's no doubt when you look at a little derpy face like this, even though if it's filled with a bunch of coconut bedding, uh, that just makes me smile because it does kind of look like he's always smiling. <laughs> it, it does look like he's kind of always smiling, doesn't it? So 
So I thought I'd actually show you guys a little bit of enrichment here, actually in Bowser's tank. So obviously, gotta take Bowser out. Let me actually get Toothless out, and maybe we might even try to do Chicken Strip as well. We'll see how he feels. Something super cool happened today. We got word that we won the Macomb County Hidden Gem Business of the Award. Now, Macomb County is the third largest county in Michigan. There are tens of thousands of businesses in this county. We were nominated about six months ago. I didn't think much of it, to be honest with you. And uh, guess what? Today we won right here. You can see we are now the Macomb County Business of the Year in the Hidden Gems category. How freaking awesome is that? Yeah, we're always trying to socialize Drogo. You know, the idea is not to have people hold Drogo, but for Drogo to be able to come out for some sloth encounters when we finally get all our permits for exhibit and stuff like that. Uh, so Jay spends at least uh, as much time as he can just kind of with Drogo out, getting used to kind of being around people and all that type of stuff. And then, uh, you know, hopefully eventually here, people will be able to do this where they'll be able to feed him, take pictures by him, stuff like that. Like I said, originally we were thinking people could hold it, but we just don't think that's a good idea. Too much stress for Drogo itself, but uh, certainly Jay is uh, doing a good job. And definitely, you can see Drogo definitely is bonded with Jay. There's no doubt about it. I'm a little jealous. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I'm a little jealous of your relationship with my boy, but uh, that's all right. Jay spends so much more time with Drogo than we do, so it's understandable that he's going to be more bonded to Jay. Good job, Drogo. You're so beautiful. And again, what Jay can do when he's out is, you know, you're always like doing your health checkups every day. Oh, yeah. And so what are the things you're checking on? Uh, so I look at his teeth. I look like at his nose at his pads to make sure they're not dry and cracked. I make sure his nails aren't like too long. Check inside of his ears. Check to make sure his skin's not dry. <laughs> Just keep him nice and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Check inside his ears. Those little silly ears. Hey, you little monkey ears. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's still crazy to think that we have a sloth. Look at this sloth. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Another really cute lizard, of course, are African fat-tailed geckos. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. Of course, you always see the leopard geckos and stuff like that. They're, the, you know, the more common. These guys are kind of the African version of leopard geckos in a way, but they have such adorable, derpy little faces. I love them to death. And of course, I love all reptiles, and I think they're all cute in their own way, but there's no doubt there's certain ones when you see them, they just like, oh, they're so cute. And when kids see geckos like Jasper here, definitely super cool. And uh, for those of you guys that don't know one of the things that makes geckos so cool is that they can actually lick their eyeballs that's right i mean how crazy is that a gecko that can lick its eyeballs kind of interesting uh we have let's see jay here we got jessica we got bruce we got Lori. i just saw beth i think i saw ashley over there uh hey guys does anyone at, does anyone work at bhp anymore what? Does anyone work at BHP anymore? What's BHP? This is what <laughs> <laughs> There's no one at BHP. <laughs> What's happened to all the snakes? <laughs> That's funny. I just look up like every single person is over here, which is cool because, hey, this is a cool place to hang out. I really want to know from you guys down in the comments, what do you think is the cutest reptile? You know, just what is it that you see and just go, oh, my God, that is so absolutely adorable. Let me know again down in the comments. I'll take like the top three and I'll go ahead tomorrow on the community tab on this YouTube. YouTube channel I'll do a poll with the top three and we'll just kind of uh, impromptu to see what you guys think is the cutest reptile of all time all right guys so that actually kid went pretty well I, I had a blast I know toothless definitely got a lot of stimulation and a lot of work today so uh, I'm actually gonna try chicken strip out too as you guys know he's still not really great coming out of the cage but after a while he calms down quite a bit so I'm really interested to see what he does here
That's refreshing. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, it's really cool to actually um, get in the water with these guys like this. It, it, it's actually like not just stimulating for him, but for me as well. Some of the times when he was, uh, you know, huffing and puffing, he, you'd see a bunch of bubbles, bloop, bloop, and they come come out just like that. Man, that's that's super cool to see. It's just different. And uh, you know, maybe one day we'll actually get a chance to actually have him as an animal that we all we, we will always be able to swim with like this with other people. Look at how cute my little baby alligators are. I mean, they are killing me with cuteness, of course. And and again, we'll continue to fight that bill, that HR6544, because one of the things that will really inhibit us here is that we wouldn't be able to get baby alligators, right? Because we raise these up for a year and then we switch them out for babies again. And look at how absolutely cute they are. We would never be able to do that, which would just absolutely ugh, be so horrible. So uh, but I'm not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that today because we're thinking about cuteness. So what do you say we feed these cute little monkeys? Oh my gosh, how freaking adorable is that? I get, uh, I just, I'm so lucky to do what I do. I get to do with this every single day, surrounding myself with cuteness, and every animal in here is cute if you ask me, but that was absolutely adorable. I hope that you guys' day is brighter now that you've seen a bunch of cute animals. I know it certainly brightened my day. If you enjoyed this video, here is a playlist you can run through. It helps my click-through rate. You guys are amazing for always supporting me. On this side, you can support me by subscribing to my podcast channel. Please do that. We love podcasting. On this side, like I said, please subscribe to this so we can get to that 3 million mark as quickly as we possibly can. Turn those post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.